Now to the latest in a series of deadly helicopter crashes for the U.S. Army, the second in a month. Two Apache helicopters on a training mission out of Fairbanks, Alaska, colliding in midair, killing three soldiers and injuring a fourth. And the late news coming in from the Army's top general, what he just ordered tonight. Here's ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz. Tonight, the Army ordering a service-wide stand-down, ordering all aircraft to stop flying sometime next week for 24 hours to focus on safety. This comes after two deadly mid-air crashes within a month. Thursdays involving two Army Apache attack helicopters flying in tandem, colliding with one another in the skies over Alaska. Four soldiers on board, three killed, one injured. There are no obvious external factors. The sun was still up. The weather seemed to be good. The crews of the Black Hawk helicopters that crashed at the end of March in Kentucky were flying in the dark with night vision goggles when they collided during a training mission. Nine soldiers lost their lives in that crash. And in February, a single Black Hawk helicopter from the Tennessee National Guard spiraled out of control and crashed, killing two guardsmen. The Army Safety Center reporting that from October last year to March 31st this year, there have been four major mishaps compared to eight in all of last year. Thursday's crash would bring that number to five. Army investigators have wanted to go back and look at, is there something in the training? Is there something in the procedures that needs to be changed to prevent this from happening again? Officials taking a close look at these incidents. Let's bring in Martha Raddatz. And Martha, the Army has had a bad year in terms of these mishaps, but how does that compare to the other branches of the military? Well, with all of the military services have had an increase in serious aviation mishaps in the last two years, but nothing like the Army having two mid-air collisions within a month. And they're going to have to take a very hard look to figure out why this is happening during this stand down with some serious questions there. Martha, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.